Take the one in 9G, for instance. She spent half the night in El Morocco, and now expects to get up fresh as a daisy and go out and land another modeling job. What a way to live. The only thing on her mind is how the weather looks at part of the money. That's why he got the job. It isn't easy to make a movie. Now take this character. Just as we start to shoot, in he walks and spoils the scene. In this business, nothing ever goes right. I know the actors are tired of running. We have to make the next setup while they rest. Charlie, not an 8E. I said 8B. This girl is not in the cast. Say, it looks like she wants to be some kind of model or something. Isn't there anyone in this place who holds down an everyday job? I'll bet none of them ever did a full day's honest work. I knew I'd find the male lead someplace in the building where they'd be putting out free coffee. If he'd just tell me where he was going, I wouldn't have wasted all this time looking for him. This one doesn't look like she's wide awake enough to make coffee. Well, I wouldn't mind a cup for myself, or, or maybe a little orange juice. What a mess. These girls can't do anything right. Try to fix a little breakfast and look at the problem. You'd think anyone should be able to open a refrigerator without causing a national emergency. Well, maybe she'll have better luck with the milk. Whoops. Now what? This food will never be ready. Oh, not this guy again. On every picture, there's someone who has to bug you. Hold it, boys, until he's out. This place is busier than a bus station. Nothing but girls all over the place. This one has just found out that her boss is taking his vacation up in the mountains. So what does she do? Blows a month's pay on clothes. Gets a friendly loan at the bank. And won't he be surprised when she walks in the dining room for breakfast? Or maybe he won't. He's probably been looking at her out of the corner of his eye ever since he hired her. The funny part is, He's not fooling her a bit. 
A happy bachelor hasn't got a chance anymore once one of these females decides to latch on to them. Well, so much for my lunch hour. Now, where is the prop man? My gosh, is she still at it? She bought enough stuff to stay away for a month. Clothes sure don't make the man. Oh, not again. Who let him in the hall? Oh, no. There goes another 30 bucks. Anyway, I'm not wasting my time in here. We got a lot of shots to make, and I have to finish them today. I don't know what this crew expects me to do. For me, they just stand around. Come on, fellas, let's get back to work.
Tired of playing solitaire? Yeah, I guess you would say these two are a lot of laughs. I wonder when they're gonna give up. Well, I can't waste the afternoon up here. By the way, did you get that cake thing settled? I just saw the guy downstairs. He's probably delivered it to them already. Oh? The reception was over an hour ago? Well, I'd better go take care of it myself. Evening, just sitting in front of the mirror and brushing her hair. How do I know? Well, her husband, Bob, didn't have a job at the time. So they spent their honeymoon at our house. Good luck. I just wanted to tell you about the cake. Oh, I forgot to tell you about my other sister. Oh, that's all right. No, she didn't spend her honeymoon at our house. Her husband told us about it later. Well, anyway, she just sat around the hotel room looking at the bed. Every time he went near it, she'd break out in tears. He finally had to rent a room next door so he could get some sleep. I hope that doesn't happen to you. Okay, okay. I have to go anyway. We're still shooting and I have to get everybody back.
up the picture. I heard the producer's starting another one next week. 